Hello, my name is Tina. I am head of design of Victoria Designs and we have a brand new junk journal project pack for you, the Discover the Woods junk journal project pack. And Alexandra from the YouTube channel Alexandra M has made a fabulous journal with our principles. I have been following her for a while now and I am so happy she agreed to make a tutorial for you. Definitely take a look at her channel and subscribe if you want to expand your paper crafting abilities. She knows things. In this video, Alexandra is going to show you our Discover the Woods Junk Journal project pack and the wonderful, fabulous, beautiful journal she made. The tutorials will be available in separate videos. And now it's time I gave the word to Alexandra. Enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Alexandra and today is a great day for starting something new, don't you think? And a collaboration with Victoria Designs is new for me, I'm very excited about it. In the tutorial that I'm going to share with you today, I will guide you through the process of creating a journal using a freshly released project pack from Victoria Designs. It is called uh, Discover the Woods and if you are a paper crafter who enjoys nature it will be just impossible for you to stay uh, indifferent to the graphics and the papers in this project pack. They're so beautiful. The pack includes six pages of uh, digital ephemera for fussy cutting, 24 journal pages as well as um, eight uh, background dig digital papers. I don't have all of them um, here, but there are eight of them there. I used almost all of them in my journal. Um, so let's have a look at it together. On the cover, you see a cluster of digital um, fussy cut images. They're all included in your uh, project pack. This camera, for example, just begged to turn into a shaker. And I uh, really like the vintage images of the binoculars and the owl and the bug here and the watercolor mushrooms and acorns. They are really beautiful. Then um, the label that I created here for the front is not included in your pack, but if you like it, you can easily download it from my blog. I will post the link to it in the description box down below, and you will also be able to find their link to Victoria Designs Etsy store in general and to the uh, Discover the Woods project pack in particular. So I used a piece of genuine leather for uh, creating the spine of my journal and the covers are wrapped in muslin fabric. I printed one of the background uh, digital papers from the pack um, to the fabric and I'm going to show you in the tutorial how exactly I did that. Um, I chose to go with the ribbons for my closure. I just think it's the easiest and the most functional way to keep the journal closed. So yeah, let's finally have a look inside. So on the inside of the front cover, there is this uh, folder pocket kind of thing. It is um, a quarter of an inch in depth and um, yeah, I think it will easily hold some note cards, receipts, or ephemera bits that 
um, you'd like to have there. I put together just a couple of journaling cards using the fussy cut elements in the pack. Um, so let me just show them to you. And I um, used some gold um, shimmering paint to add some splatters. I think it looks really nice here. So this card and this one and this one with a butterfly. So I added some uh, green paper here and there um, on the cards and just um, added a bit of stamping using the stamps from my stash. There is another. They're plain on the back. And I printed all the um, pages with the fussy cut images to the 65 pounds uh, cardstock. And the rest of the pages are printed onto just simple um, copy paper. And on this card, I used this absolutely adorable squirrel. And I also added just a piece of leather that I had. Um, like it's a leftover piece from the spine. And I secured it using the grommet on the card itself. And added this cute acorn charm to it. These are the cards in this pocket. There are two signatures in this journal and they are attached to a hollow spine as you can see and then between the signatures there is this um, ephemera holder and everything you see in here is from the project pack it's so pretty so pretty all those tiny bits and pieces they're really great for um, using later in the journal once you start to actually write something in it then you can use these to add more to your pages create tucks and pockets and some accents on your pages okay so let me put these back and there are two more uh, cards in here and once again, these are all the cards and bits from the fussy cut um, elements in the project bag. Okay, so um, let's flip just through um, a couple more pages. You can see that most of the pages have a very rich design. And if you, like me, need more uh, journaling space, you can print the designs on only one side of the paper and use the other side for writing. So that's what I did. So I have one spread with the design and the next spread for writing. But of course there are pages that can be used for writing as well, despite the fact that they have a digital design on them. So on this one, for example, I could write only here, but this page I could use almost completely for uh, writing something down. Um, okay, so we have an ephemera folder here, and here I created the stock for a magnifying glass. And the pages are really beautiful. I like the feel of them. And the fact that I printed on uh, tea dyed papers, the colors uh, look a little bit more um, muted than they are in real life. So if you will print on uh, white pages without tea dyeing them first, um, the colors will be even more vibrant than here. So, um, yeah, let's um, get to the uh, inside of the back cover now. And um, there is an expandable uh, pocket here. And it holds a few more 
journaling cards that I created using the um, elements from the, the project pack. So there is one more of that camera. And there is this card. And this card. And this one with a tuck and two little tags. And there's one that looks like this. And another one which is rather plain. And one more with that adorable squirrel that we had before. Um, okay, so this tutorial is very easy and definitely suitable for both um, beginners and advanced uh, crafters as one. I will be very happy if you join me in the process of creating this journal using the Discover the Woods project pack from Victoria Designs. So I hope you're now very inspired to start crafting and you can discover the Discover the Woods Junk Journal Project Pack in our shop. The link is below and I wish you a very crafty day.